So, you want to know how to reverse an array in C-sharp? This is Daniel, and you are going to get coded. Here I have Visual Studio opened, and let's try to create a simple console application by going to File, New Project. Under Visual C-sharp, I'm going in Windows Desktop, I'm going to choose Console App, and then let's rename this to Reverse, and then hit OK. While this is loading, I have here a link, and you can find the link to this website over here in the description down below. So as I said, I'm going to implement the reverse method. And this reverse method reverses the whole array. And let's try to see what we have here. So we have a var fruits which contains four uh, uh, items, four fruits, apple, cherry, pineapple, and plum. And then we have a result array, which is of type string, because the type the type of the items inside the fruits array is string. And then we need to pass the size for the array. In our case, the size is fruits.length because we need to make sure that this um, result over here has enough spaces to incorporate, to accommodate, to store all the items in the fruits. We need to make that sure. And then we have a for loop and this for loop is the reversed for loop, is not an actual for loop. You can see that we start from the end of the array until the beginning of the array. And then we start with fruits.length minus one. So we start with the last position inside the index, inside the fruits. And then we are iterating over the fruits array while i is greater or equal than zero. So while this condition holds true, we are going to continue iterating over the arrays, uh, over the items inside the array. And then we are going to run the statement inside the for loop. In our case, we have an assignment. So let's try to see what we have here. We have the result array and we are going to put a, this index, and I'm going to return to this in a, in a moment, we are going to put the item. So the item is fruits index i. This is the item that we are currently looping. So uh, as i uh, decrements, we have plum, pineapple, cherry, and apple. So the fruits index i rep uh, represents these, item over, uh, these items over here as we are looping over the array. But let's try to see what we have here. So we want to add a this index. So fruits.length minus i minus 1. So as we are going from the end until the beginning in the fruits array, we are going in the reversed order in the result array, basically in the normal order. So we are going to, uh, to add items uh, starting at index 0 until the end. So this is what it means over here. And you can, uh, you are going to see the actual meaning of this while I'm going to debug this code. And then we have a for each loop, which just prints the item, that specific item to the console. So let's try to start typing. So Windows key, right arrow, and let's begin typing. We need the var fruits array. So var fruits equals new square brackets and then curly braces. And we need apple, cherry, pineapple, and plum. And plum. And then we need a var result array. And this result array is of type string, so we need new string, square brackets again, and fruits.length. If, still this, uh, if uh, this still confuses you, I have a video, and you can check this video at the link on the screen. And then we have a for loop, so for tab, tab, we leave i as it is, and then we are going, well, actually not. So this is the actual, the normal for loop. So the i starts from, ze uh, from index zero, and then we are going until the length of the array, so until the end, but we don't need this. So instead of typing this, we need for r. So double r for four, and tab, tab. And this will print the reversed. Uh, for loop for iterating over arrays. So the shortcut again is for with double R. 
So we are going to leave i as it is, and then we need fruits dot length minus one, so we don't go until the end, and then enter. And then we are going to assign at the index fruits dot length minus i minus one the actual item from the fruits. And then we need just a for each loop which prints all the items inside the result. So var item in result, enter, CW tab tab, we are going to display the item. And for us to be able to see what's on the console, we need console.readKey, not ready, but read key. And let's try to press F5. And we are going, hopefully, to see the array reversed. And this is way too small. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. So properties, font size, 36. So we see here plum, pineapple, cherry, and apple. So the reversed order of this. So here I have apple, cherry, pineapple, and plum. Here I have the reversed order. So this is working. But I still want to, um, to focus on these two lines over here because these two are a little bit more complex or confusing or I don't know. So let's try to focus on these two lines. So I'm going to press to set a breakpoint for the for loop and let's try to press F5. And let's try to pull this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to expand these two variables, these two arrays, so that you can see the values. So let's begin. The length of the array is four because we have four items. And then we need minus one because there is no item at index number four. As I said, uh, arrays start from zero. So we have zero, one, two, and three. We don't have an item at four. That's the end of the array that doesn't exist. That's why you need minus one. You need to make sure that you are one step back, backwards than uh, the size of the array. Let's try to press F11. We need this one over here, so the i has to be greater than zero. And let's try to see this one. So four, the length is still four, then the i is one, and then one. Um, it was, no, it wasn't one, sorry, it was three. So the length was four, the i was three, because fruits minus one is three and this is a zero over here. So the actual result, the actual index is zero. Let's try one more time. So the length is four, the i is three. So four minus three is one, minus one is zero. So you can see right now result index zero is the plum. One more time, four minus two is two, minus one is one. So right now the index is one. And you can see right now we have pineapple. So this is kind of like magic so that we don't need to create an extra variable, like a J variable to hold this specific index. So we can construct our index in the reversed order by using only the I variable and by making this, this magic over here. So let's try to press again F11 and you can see cherry, so the index right now is two. And the last one, the i is zero, length is four, so four minus zero, four, minus one, three. So the last item, the last item indeed is apple. And then the i gets decremented again, the i gets minus one, minus one is not greater or equal than zero, this is false indeed, and we are going to exit the for loop. And then we are going to print each item in the result, and let me try to pull, uh, to bring up the console. So let's try to press F11. So you can see the first is plum, the second is pineapple, the third is cherry, and the fourth one is apple. So everything is in reversed order as you expected. So let's try to stop the execution. One more time, we need two arrays. One array is our source destination, the other array is, the, uh, is our source array, the other array is the destination. So we get the items from the fruits and we pass them to the result. So one by one, we get the items from the end of the, the array and we add them to the beginning of the other array. 
and we are going to do this in the reversed order so from the end of one array to the beginning of the one of the other array and then we are going to just print this to the console so I hope you liked it if you did please click thumbs up also my goal right now as you may know is to get 1000 subscribers so consider subscribing until next time bye guys